today I'm going to take a look at um, some updates to TrialPad. Uh, this is a pretty exciting update. It's one that a lot of the people that we train on TrialPad um, haven't been asking for, but it's a feature that they've been kind of like looking for. And when it's not there, they're kind of surprised. So uh, this is a, a much needed update and uh, I'm going to go into it uh, right now. update that you're looking for is when you're is bookmarks and it's really exciting uh, for a couple of reasons and one is that let's say you have a really long exhibit like this one down here 1161d it is a 97 page um, long exhibit uh, one of the things that you can do now is create a bookmark um, to a specific page and so what I can do is select that hit add bookmark and I'm, book, I'm on page one, and so it bookmarks to, to page one, and I can give it another name uh, if I want to. So let's say this is the cover sheet for this document, and that's important. I hit cover sheet, and there it is. Now let's say that page 50, for example, is important. So I'll go to page 50, and this is the pl drywall plaster scope sheet. Let's say that's important too. So we can add a bookmark to page, uh, this is page 51, and say we'll call it the plaster scope sheet. So that way, if I'm working with the attorney, um, let's make sure we spell it correctly, P-L-A-S-T-E-R, okay. So if I'm working with an attorney um, that can't ever seem to remember uh, the page numbers or the bait stamp numbers and just calls it, you know, plaster scope sheet, I can very quickly get there. So let's say if I'm on another exhibit here and then I need to get back to 1161D and get to that plaster scope sheet, I can just get to it really quick or I can go back to the cover sheet or whichever page that I need to. So that's a really quick way of navigating. The way that we used to kind of advise our clients to get around the absence of a bookmark function, and you still may want to do this for a, a lot of your witnesses, is to use the key doc function. And so that's still a really going to be a really important part of the way that we train people uh, to use TrialPad. And what that would do is, let's say that I do need page uh, 91 of uh, one of this exhibit. Um, I would hit that key icon, get the current page, and see it goes away into this key doc section. And let's go again to page 51, plaster scope sheet, and key doc that one too, and key doc just that current page. What I can then do is I can go to my key doc section, and I always switch it to custom sort, so that way um, the documents come in in the order in which I created the key docs, which could be important if you just want to march down a list. Um, in the same sequence that the exhibits might appear during an examination or during an opening and closing. So that's one of the things we do uh, in terms of using key docs. Um, but to the extent that maybe you have an exhibit that you're going to use with a lot of different witnesses and you're not sure exactly which page, instead of having to key doc, you know, six, seven, eight, nine pages in a, in a row for the document, you could just key doc the entire document or ignore, or not ignore, but avoid key docs altogether and just go to the exhibit and go to the bookmark page. The other thing that I've noticed is that when I do the bookmarks, if let's say I go to 1161 and I come back to 1161D, it will, if I selected, if I was on like a bookmark sheet, let's say let's go to another exhibit, let's go back to exhibit one, and then if I go back to 1161D, Notice it didn't bring me to page one like it normally does uh, for other exhibits. It brought me back to the last bookmarked page that I was on. And so that could be really useful too if, let's say, you're in the middle of an exam and you know that you're going to use this exhibit again. You can add the bookmark or, or remove it. If you come back to, if you go to another exhibit, let's say this documentation protocol, and then you come back, it'll be right back on that page. So that's kind of, it works as kind of like a, a placeholder and as also bookmarks like you would think or like hyperlinks within a document. And so that's a really nice feature as well, uh, but something to keep in mind in case you're expecting that the, when you get to this exhibit, it's gonna automatically bring you to page one like it does with the other exhibits. And so um, it'll take a little bit of time to get used to kind of using this. Um, but I do think that is something we are going to train um, any of our users that we train on it. There's some features that we just don't bother training in TrialPad. 
uh, just because we like to make sure that uh, we keep uh, our training sessions short and to the point of what we think people are actually going to use. And so bookmarks is probably something that we're going we're gonna to use uh, quite, quite frequently, especially because uh, you have the ability not only to bookmark a specific page, but also to name it something. And so if you have, say, like a 300 page, 500 page or, or longer uh, medical record, for example, um, you could quickly bookmark, say, the first page of like a consult note and um, it would immediately take you to, to that first page of the consult note and you don't have to worry about, let's say it's a three page consult note, you don't have to worry about key docking all three of those pages, um, you can just use the bookmark. Um, bookmarks is something that I will probably use much more frequently uh, than key docs. Uh, just because of the way that I like to use TrialPad, I, I tend not to use the key docs at all. I tend to stay pretty much all within the document section, and I like having things in like the alphanumerical kind of order. Um, and that's just because I find it relatively quick to go scroll through the lists here and then scroll through the bars on the side here. Having that extra bookmark function uh, for any of the exhibits will only s speed me up in terms of if, it, again, if it's like a longer exhibit, um, like this one here, which is 97 pages, instead of having to very finely tune myself to where I want to go and then kind of get there eventually, um, I can just use a bookmark and get to exactly to the page that I want right away. Now the other thing that they added um, is another thing that uh, a lot of my users ask about um, when I first trained them on TrialPad is the jump to page. And so now if you hit the number, see it says 51 out of 97, um, I can immediately, if I want to go to page 55, 45, I can immediately go to page 45, just tap on the number, let's say I want to go to page 28, 28, go, and I'm right on to page 28 right away. And so that's another quick way, let's say um, you're jumping through an exhibit and the attorney that you're working with or that's doing the exam um, is jumping through the pages very quickly. This happens a lot with expert witnesses. They tend to jump all over the record really quick. Um, this will make it a lot easier for you to follow rather than using these kind of slider bars along the side. You can just very quickly go to page 77, for example, and if you know 77 is one that we're gonna reference a lot, let's say maybe this is like the uh, signature page uh, for the nursing staff on a couple of shifts, you can always bookmark that, add the bookmark, name it whatever you need to, Let's call it signature page. I know that's not what this really is, but let's say that's what it is. Bookmark it, and so now, no matter where you go, let's say you have to go to page 12. Let's get out of there. Hit page 12, enter. You're on page 12, and then if you need to get back to that signature page to compare who entered in what in the chart at what time, you can quickly get back there. If you need to get back to, say, the cover sheet, page one, you're there. And so you have all these kind of listed out uh, a lot of great ways to get through a longer PDF. Um, and let's face it, the PDFs are only getting longer in our exhibits these days. It's two really helpful ways of getting through a longer PDF very quickly. Uh, I'm very excited about this, these two updates uh, to TrialPad. It only makes what I think is a really good uh, app even more usable and more kind of user friendly. Um, because primarily my use of TrialPad is not in me using it, because typically when, whenever I or someone else from my team gets involved in a case, we're using Trial Director because the, the scope of the case is that big and there's that many video depositions. Um, so most of my interaction with TrialPad is uh, teaching attorneys, uh, usually second or third chair attorneys, how to use it. And so these are two features that get asked about a lot, so I'm glad to see that they've finally been added um, to the app. Uh, a quick note of disclosure, I'm not in any way financially tied uh, to TriPad or uh, the parent company. Uh, it's just a product that I like to use and that I train uh, people on frequently. If you have any comments on the update, um, let me know if this is something that you're going to use or that you're excited about using, um, and I'd love to hear from you uh, down below. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I think next Friday we may or may not have a vlog for next for Friday. Um, but st uh, over the next couple of days, things tend to get a little bit slow for us because you know we tend to work with jury trials and jury trials kind of slow down right around the Christmas holiday. So uh, I'm gonna put together a whole bunch of other um, kind of uh, either tech or how-to videos. So you'll see a lot more of those coming in the next coming weeks. So thanks for watching.